You know what's amazing to me? Everyone's talking about rhetoric. Trump's rhetoric. But no one ever talks about the Democrats' rhetoric. Do you remember Obama's rhetoric when he said, they bring a knife, you bring a gun? Do you remember that rhetoric when he was running for office? Hmm? How about the rhetoric of Hillary Rotten Clinton? Are you kidding me with the rhetoric? They're blaming Trump for the fights. Now, his rhetoric, I, to be honest with you, I don't agree with everything the guy says. I was a Carson fan, but my guy didn't win, so you move on. You don't sit there and whine about it like Beck and Dana Lush. 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 Dana Lush. Whatever her name is. They don't understand the consequences. By not vote for the Republican, but a communist in the Supreme Court. I understand it. They don't. You know what I'm saying? But the rhetoric really cracks me up. Go to a football game on a Sunday. You'll see you fight in every single football game in this country, no matter where you go. It's not just Raider games, folks. Go to a Niner game. A Niner Raiders preseason game. The Niner fans are shooting Raider fans at a preseason game. That's why they stopped the preseason games. Rhetoric. People get mad. You put crowds together, there's going to be problems. But let me talk about the Obama's rhetoric. What about the Black Lives Matter rhetoric? Obama and Holder's rhetoric. Do you know their rhetoric had cops killed? Not punched in the face, killed. Remember the cops in New York were sitting there eating their lunch? A Mexican cop and a Chinese cop murdered by a Black Lives Matter guy from Baltimore? Now how about that rhetoric with Holder, Obama, and Sharpton? Really? Let's talk about rhetoric. Are you people crazy? The, people, the media doesn't say a word about that shit. They can care less. They don't talk about Obama's rhetoric. Hmm? But everyone's afraid of Trump. Now what are you guys afraid of? I look at it this way. If he doesn't know what he's going to do, what he's going to say, they'll throw him out in four years. And can he be any worse than this guy? Are you not scared of Obama and the Democrats? Let me tell you what you need to be scared about. Do you know they let prisoners out of jail? And I'm not talking guys smoking a joint. They should be out of jail. You're smoking a weed, you should even be in jail. We're talking about hardened criminals. That's not scary for people? The population? I tell you what, how about sanctuary cities? Are you scared of that when sanctuary cities... Some of these sanctuary cities, people get murdered by illegal aliens that have been deported five, six times? We're talking about criminals. We're not talking about guys picking your freaking fruit. You know, picking your watermelons. We're talking about criminals. Do you understand the difference? The Democrats don't understand the difference because they don't care. They just want the freaking vote. They don't give a shit about these illegals. They could care less. They care less what country you come from. Isn't that scary, folks? Hmm? Letting people out of prison. Sanctuary series getting people murdered like Keith Stein. Or like the guy in Kansas that killed five people. Illegal alien. Or the lady in Santa Maria, California that was murdered with a claw hammer in her own home by an illegal alien. Raped and murdered. Wow, so we outlaw claw hammers. But, but the point is this. Here's the worst one. What about giving Iran nukes? That's not scary to human beings? You tell me, that's not scary to the public? Are they protesting that? Is anybody out there protesting that? Are giving Iran nukes? No. They're protesting Trump. Okay, Trump's another Hitler. Yeah, we've heard it before. And it's funny how the people that are so tolerant don't like free speech, do they? They blame the Tea Party. Remember the Tea Party? Oh, yeah. Grandma and Grandpa wanted less taxes, lower government. Mm. Really? Less government, lower taxes, I should say. Either way, right? That's what they protest. Were there fights? Were there fights? Was there outrage? Was there going, people going crazy, beating up the cops? Fighting the people? I mean, it's unbelievable. But the tolerant left, they're so tolerant on their rhetoric. They want to shut down free speech as long as it's only their speech. Go to any college campus. They are clueless. They can even name me three judges on the Supreme Court. They have no idea what that's about. Nothing. Nothing. They're so freaking clueless. It's a joke. Talk about their rhetoric. Their rhetoric. More and more rhetoric. I tell you, people, it's a sad day in hell when you can't sit there and talk and say your opinion and people have to threaten your lives like they're threatening Trump's children now. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking choking me because you disagree with them? You have to go up to the children. They shouldn't go up to anybody's children. That includes Trump, Obama, Clinton. The children should be off limits, man. And it's unbelievable. I'm not saying you should threaten any of the candidates. You shouldn't threaten people because you disagree with what the hell they have to say. It's like I said, Carson was my guy. He lost. I'm not whining about it. I'm going to the next step because I understand the bigger picture. The big picture is that Supreme Court. And you need to get that through it. I wish they would talk about it every day. Because that Supreme Court is so important. You need to get rid of these sanctuary cities that are killing Americans. And if you vote for a Democrat, you're going to have more of that. You're going to have more of that. More Kate Stylings get murdered. And it's going to be on you people by voting Democrat. Because that's scary that Trump talking. Trump's a lot of hot air is talking. I'm sorry. But people are scared of him like he's going to destroy the world. When Obama's giving Iran nukes, there you go, that's good. Obama loves all the enemies of the country, and he shits over all our allies. Gives the bus back to Winston, Winston Churchill to England. Shits all over Israel. I mean, dude, this guy's amazing. This guy's a freaking amazing, and you're worried about Trump's rhetoric. But Obama's rhetoric, we don't even hear about. We don't hear Trump's a racist. Although the Democrats were the party of race. Why don't you young people look that up? Look up a guy named Robert Byrd, who was a Democratic majority leader in a Senate at one time. Yeah, he was a Klansman. He was the Grand Puba. Okay, not just some freaking kid. He was the Grand Master. 
But that's okay. When you're a Democrat, it's okay. It's okay. You know what I mean? If you owe five bucks on your taxes, I want to throw you in jail. But Al Sharpton owes four million, no problem, because you're a Democrat. See how it works here? George Wallace was a Democrat racist. Yeah, people don't remember him, huh? Look him up in the 60s. Yeah, a Democrat racist, a governor of Alabama, and then he became an independent. Yeah, there you go. There's your rhetoric. There's your racist, and there's your Democratic Party. They're the ones of the races. They're the ones of rhetoric. They're the ones that keep you in freaking jail. They're, by the way, keep you in jail. What about Hillary Clinton? That's a great one. Why do black people vote for her when her husband's the one to put a lot of them in jail? That amazes me. The three strikes are outlaw. She was all behind it. So, but they, they can vote for this shit. Why? What is wrong with you people? Seriously. You vote for this woman whose husband helped put more of you in jail? But yet, wow, you got to vote Democrat. So there's something wrong with your brain, man. There's a step missing in your brain. You got to look in the mirror and go, really? Why do we vote for these Democrats when they do nothing for us? They've done nothing for us. Why not try the other side and see what they do? And if they don't do nothing, then you throw their ass out. That's why there's rebellion in the Republican Party. Because the Republicans lied, they got in there, and they didn't do nothing. Do what they say. And the only one was Cruz. And that's why they hate Cruz and Trump. Now they want Cruz over Trump. Now they want a broker convention. They don't, they don't know what the hell they want. And I'll tell you what, if they take it away from Cruz or Trump, they're not going to get the votes from the other guys. There's no way. If they put in who they want to put in, they lost. They lost. They'll give it to the Communist Party. Because the commies stick together, at least. See, Republicans are principles and morals. But the Communist Party, they have no values, no principles, no morals. It doesn't matter to them. See, you got to understand that. It doesn't matter. So when you cheat on your wife, it's okay when you're a Democrat. Because they don't have principles. What a Republican does is it's evil because you have principles and morals. To me, it's bad either way. If you're married, you don't cheat. But that's me. But these politicians are so corrupt. That's why people like Trump. He's resonating. Like I said, I don't agree with anything he says. I don't agree with anybody and everything they say. But you got to take the better, the lesser two evils they say. But let me tell you something. If you don't get Trump in there or Cruz in there and you get this communist lady who should be in freaking jail, by the way, you're asking for trouble. You're going to get more people murdered in sanctuary cities. You're going to get more ambassadors slaughtered. You're going to get more people overseas murdered. I mean, that's what you want, people. I say more power to you. Right on, baby. Go for it. Go for it and see what the hell happens. And then you have people like Beck and Dana Lausch. Lousy. Bitch for the next four years on her shows. That's all they're going to do is complain and bitch and moan and bitch. But you know what? They're part of the problem because not supporting a Republican candidate by communism rule, they're part of the freaking problem.